Good morning, Spartans. I'm Boshti. And I'm Easton Locke, and we're bringing you the Timeline Broadcast this Thursday morning. So, Easton, what's your favorite Thanksgiving food? Got to be ham. Ham? I also agree. I think ham is amazing. Nah, team turkey. Turkey's way better. Get out of here. <sighs> I can't agree with that one. Thanksgiving break is eight days away. Every student at MBU is expected to excel in the classroom while also giving their best on the field, court, or track. We decided to walk around campus and ask our student athletes how they've been able to balance athletics and academics. So for me, it's real easy because we have practice early in the morning and you got the whole rest of the day to get your homework done. You can still go to the gym after that too. I got my grades up right now just by doing that. Luckily for us, most of the students that come here are already approaching this with a goal and mindset. They want to win a championship. They want to be pros. Everybody is different, but they all have goals. So I make sure that I get to know them first. I know what they're going to accomplish and keep them to that standard like of work ethic and uh, consistency so that they can reach that goal. Eligibility. You got to be eligible in the spring. It's where it counts most. You know, indoor, outdoor, both conferences. You got to keep your grades up to be able to compete. Our nursing program is extremely rigorous, but it prepares the students to be in the field. To learn more about what it takes to be in the program, MBU Timeline visited the Walker Medical Building. Located just off Outer 40 in the North Tower, the Walker Medical Building is home to Missouri Baptist University's nursing program. The halls, filled with several classrooms, laboratories, and interactive demo rooms, provide nursing students of all levels with practical experience. On an average day, students spend time both in the classroom and in the lab setting. And it's not exactly easy. The hybrid between book and off-book experience puts nursing students at a higher level although it may be rigorous. It is hard. <laughs> it is definitely hard, but it is uh, rewarding, um, especially in clinicals. I love uh, taking care of the patients and it makes you actually feel like a nurse. They're sure to count this experience toward their future career. For MBU Timeline, this has been Andrew McCubbins. The MBU School of Nursing, a state-of-the-art program, is designed for ambitious students looking for a career in healthcare, and our School of Nursing recently announced that their 100% pass rate on the NCLEX RN exam. First generation faculty members run this school. They are the gears that make MBU what it is today. We went around and asked them what made them take education seriously and why it made them who they are today. Here's what they had to say. Oh, if there was one thing I could tell College Marie, it would be read the fine print, understand what you are signing, uh, don't just assume that you understand what's going on. Again, I'm thinking back to paying for college. Um, yes, it was an expensive time, and I know college is expensive today. Uh, and it was easy just to sign and say, oh, I'll take those loans now, use them to pay for college, and I'll pay for everything later. Uh, but later does eventually come. And so reading the fine print, understanding what I was uh, signing up for is really important. Also then, just to look and see who else is around me who's also going through the same thing because we can go through it together. It was good um, when I finally got called into ministry at 26. Um, I never thought about going to college and um, my pastor said you need to go to college to be a minister. So I moved from Las Vegas to South Carolina and uh, I finally had a goal and a purpose in my life. So instead of just going through school to finish in high school because my mom and dad both had dropped out they got my dad got his GED at 32 and my mom at 56 so you know, there wasn't any college there uh, so I wasn't sure what to do but headed off to college they had a wonderful administration people with this goal and a purpose instead of just studying to pass a test to get out of the class I knew I was gonna have to use this that is a great message to hear. And also, we'll be celebrating first-generation students November 6th through the 10th. So if you need some inspiring words from the people that were in the same situation you were in, go on down and talk to your wonderful first-generation faculty members. MBU Student Life hosted a basketball intramural in the SRC last Friday night. Intramural sports here at MBU serve as a great opportunity for students to play a sport they may not usually play or at all. We spoke with a student that has played to tell you why you should participate in intramural sports. 
a student should uh, do intramural is really just to get involved around campus. Uh, they can meet other students that they may not know. They may, can meet other people from like other dorms and stuff that they just may not have gotten the chance to meet yet. And really just get involved around campus. Uh, they're a ton of fun and it's just a, a great way to spend like a night like this. And here's Corey with sports. Good morning Spartans. I'm Corey Kretzer here with your Spartan Sports News Update. For the third time this season, Missouri Baptist University sophomore opposite hitter Gabby Yabuska was named American Midwest Conference Attacker of the Week. The league office announced this Monday afternoon. She leads the Spartans as they take on Hannibal LaGrange tonight for their last regular season game, leading up to the conference tournament on November 10th. The high-flying women's volleyball team is prepared and ready to compete against some very good quality opponents. A big shout out to the women's cross country team for bringing home the AMC Conference Championship. Let's go girls. We look forward to seeing everyone dust the competition at Nationals. That's all for the sports news today, so let's snap back to Easton and Boshity. This has been Corey. Thank you. That's all for this week's Timeline Updated News. For more spectacular stories around the MBU community, visit MBU Timeline at the link on your screen. Thank you for watching. For MBU Timeline, I'm Easton Locke. And I'm Bosch Yaltide. We will see you in next week's broadcast.